Okay, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your mid check-in. No, this is not your love reading. This is a mid monthly check-in from your monthly forecast that I posted in the beginning of the month, all right? So I'll be looking at some general energy, finances, career. I'm gonna pull a blockage card and I'm gonna end it with a spirit message, all right? Let's hop in, inner signs, gonna be great, of course. Let's see what's coming in from now to the end of April. So today's the 13th. So this will be from the 13th to the 30th. Let's see, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun rising, also of Venus. You guys, if you guys haven't already, um, do check out the goddess box. I don't have that many left. They've been selling like hotcakes. Um, this is what the goddess box looks like. If you guys want more information, do check the community tab. It's pinned below in the comments. Or you guys can go on my IG or Facebook as Fire Intuition. All right, to get more information on the goddess box for this month for April. All right. Um, so yeah, guys, let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you guys would like to book a personal reading, fireintuition.com. All right, let's see what's going on with air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see what energy is currently around you guys. What energy is around my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see. We have a lead. So for some of you guys, it's time for you guys to take the lead. Let's see what this is about. We have believe and succeed. So you guys are needing to take the lead. You guys are needing to believe in yourselves. Okay, believe and succeed. You guys have something coming towards you. Six is all about balance. We have a four, that's 10. But it's like there's a new beginning in all of it, okay? So you guys have a new beginning ahead of you guys. You guys are needing to take the lead, all right? There's some paperwork in his hand. So maybe it has to deal with like paperwork, documents, the contracts we have. Just breathe. So the universe wants you to just breathe and take the lead, all right? At the bottom, we have the heart chakra card. Love it. And we have find balance. So just find balance. Okay, open up that heart chakra. You guys are needing to believe in yourself or believe in something for it to like be successful or for it to for it to succeed and go your way. All right, is what I'm getting here. So let's see, air signs. Uh oh, look, six of wands. Wow, this has popped out in all the readings um, per element. All the readings. Let's see, take the lead. Wow, the magician, that's your energy, Gemini. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo. I have Virgo in your chart. But the magician is telling me something is manifesting. Get out of your head. Stop thinking negative. Clean the swords in, in the reverse. Don't ruin it for yourselves, air signs, okay? All right? I'm not saying it in a bad way, but I'm just saying, like, if you guys keep thinking negative or keep being negative, it's like something is not going to manifest. But the universe wants you to take the lead, all right? So let's see what this is about. The magician is here. The death card, there's going to be some ending before there's some type of new beginning. Are right, you guys are going through an ending with the death card, going through some type of change? All right, so let's see why the death card is here. Four of Wands, whatever this is, is bringing in more security and stability. Um, it could be bringing in marriage, it could be bringing in like a better energy towards your foundation, your environment. The Empress is here, birthing and creating new ideas. The sun is here. Love it. So a lot of you guys have been dreaming about pregnancy or being pregnant. Some of you guys are. There can be a child that's coming into your life that's, you know, going to change a lot um, in your life. So it's like, a, it's like a child is like a huge blessing. Children are blessings, of course. But it's like this baby is like going to change your life for like the positive. You're going to see life in a whole new light for some of you guys. All right. But there's of you here that's birthing and creating new things. Um, things are changing in your life. Very positive. Let's see. We have just breathe. The Ten of Pentacles. So your home, everything's going to be fine. Finances, money, everything looks good. Ten of Pentacles, you guys are waiting on some money. Or you guys have a lot of money coming in with the Ten of Pentacles. This can also be a relationship. The High Priest is here in the Shape card. You guys need to be confident. Trust your intuition. All right? Trust your intuition. Let's see how the Heart Chakra card is here. It's like you guys are needed to open up the Heart Chakra or open your hearts. Be open to receiving also with the heart chakra card. Yep. Wow. Look. Wow. Blessings and miracles. This is good. Wow. King of Wands taking action. This could be someone new coming into your life. For some of you guys, your love life is like definitely about to change. It's about to be off the hook. You guys have a blessing in your love life. 
all right it's like love is like there like it's gonna be lit it's gonna be amazing all right it's gonna be fiery passion passionate look ten of cups again look king of wands okay so it's gonna be really good very positive you guys are needed to this remain balance find balance you know no i just seen this here it goes in the other deck so i'm gonna put it to the side but the five of wands change all right it could be competition change up wow five of wands is here too all right so that could be a sign a message so let's see uh oh Let's look at your finances, air signs, finances for air signs, king of swords, that's you, the devil, and the will of fortune. So things are moving forward, okay, a lot of change coming in. The devil is telling me like you're just going to be working hard, a workaholic, okay, money's going to be good, but you got to work hard for it, okay, um, are you going to be working hard, all right, for some of you guys, let's see why the devil's here. Why is the devil here for your finances? Eight of cups. All right. And we have it with the four of cups. Yeah, some of you guys feel overworked, underpaid. And you're walking away from that energy. You're like, I'm not going to be used. I'm tired of working hard. Tired of working these doubles, overnight shifts, extra shifts. And I'm not where I want to be. So the king of swords is you take an action, head it in the right direction. You're focused on your future. Um, you're walking away from the energy, like that devil energy, ten of wands. See, like I said, overworked underpaid are just overworking always working not happy your whole life may consist around working all you do is work 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 and you're tired of that you're like i want a personal life i want a love life i want to do more than just work and have money okay so let's see why the will of fortune is here what's the will of fortune you have three of cups three reverse you're not happy some of you guys you're not hanging out you guys feel like the social life has changed um with the will of fortune and if you have cuts reverse for some of you guys do be careful with a friend around you okay that came up in the earth signs i think reading our water signs reading yep the three of cups i mean not the three of cups a friendship situation but for some of you guys you guys feel like you don't have a love life you're not dating you're not being social you're not meeting friends but that's all about the change the queen of pentacles yeah see money is on your mind you guys are going to be networking if you guys own a business you guys are going to get the opportunity to network and meet people okay so it's like you do work a lot you know the money is there yeah you do work a lot okay but it's like kind of like i'm not gonna say you know what you signed up for but if it's your own business you are like the business owner you got to put the money i mean not the money you have to put the energy into it who else is going to make your money okay because i feel like you guys work for yourselves i feel like you don't have employees for some of you guys let's see king of swords six of wands yeah you're like yeah it's like this is good the fool New beginnings, a new phase, new cycle. Taking the lead, going towards my money, change. Networking, meeting new people, more people. Coming out of this draining, tiring energy. The sun. Yeah, you're about to be really happy. The summer is going to be amazing for you guys financially as well. So your summer is going to be really good. And damn, I had another card mixing in. Just this Libra. So we're going to take that and just put that to the side. Sorry, guys. Sometimes the cards do mix. Sorry. So I'm just going to mix it up one more time. To make sure all right so just this here again let's look at your career king of pentacles we have it with the shape card and we have it with seven of pentacles wow air signs this is looking great money 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 all right money is all around you guys let's see shape card the hermit the seven of wands whatever you're fighting for whatever you're determined to get you're gonna get it, okay? Stand in your strength. Stay, stay, um, stay and be strong, confident. If this is something you want, really fight for it. Don't back down. All right. Um, for some of you guys, I just see a huge major promotion to a pentacle. Some of you guys are gonna have to like make a decision between two different jobs. All right, or a career change. Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, it's a career change. Let's see, King of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. Someone may be trying to talk you out of something that you love to do. You're ignore them. All right, just ignore them. Um, why is the Queen of Cups here? Your intuition is telling you what to do. You're following your heart. Don't look back in the past. Don't stress out about it. 
Two of Swords reverse. You're not blindfolded. You're not dumb. It's pretty much saying like because Page of Wands reverse. It's gonna be somebody rude, disrespectful. You know, trying to say something. They're trying to get you off your A game, or they're just trying to like cause ruckus because they want what you have, or they want your position. The Star in reverse. They want you to lose hope and faith. They want you to be stuck, go backwards, not move forward. So if I was you, I would just ignore them. Okay, ignore any negative criticism, any arguments, challenges, or uh, people are being difficult or trying to challenge you. Ignore it. You guys may also have like some um, chargebacks within your, within, if you have a business, there may be some like chargebacks and stuff. All right, people lying so they didn't get product, service, um, justice is there. You're going to get your money back, but it may like, this may be like the first time it ever happened. So you're like, dang, wow, I can't believe this. Like, you know, like I'm an honest person. I sit there stuff. I did this. I did that. You know, and... Um, you're gonna get your money. Some of you guys are waiting for money to come in. Yep, see the Ten of Swords. You're gonna feel betrayed, stabbed in the back. See, there goes that devil. Cause you're like, I worked so hard. I put so much work and energy into things. Okay, we're gonna win in the end. The Queen of Cups. Cause the universe knows where your heart is at. Okay. So if you have a company, there may be some issues or like some financial issues, but it's all gonna work out. Um, and things are gonna come together. All right. Now, um. Let's see where you guys are blocked at. Let's see. Air signs, Aquarius, and Libra, and Gemini. Where you guys blocked at? From now until the end of the month. Let's see. Air signs, we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. And at the bottom, we have peace. So a lot of you guys just want to be at peace. A lot of you guys with the discipline card, you're telling yourself something. You need to discipline your mind, okay? So if you're saying, I'm not going to do this, don't do it. If you're saying, I'm not going to overwork myself, don't overwork yourself. If you're telling yourself, I'm going to be at peace, be happy this weekend, I'm focusing on self-love, etc., do that. Discipline your mind, okay? Do not go against what you feel and how you feel. You keep saying something. You keep saying you're going to do something. Do it, okay? Do it. And wow, look what's at the bottom. Self-discipline. So let's see how you guys are back with discipline. Discipline for... For some of you guys, it's in your environment. Or it's like in your work environment. Wherever you're at the most. You guys are needing to discipline your mind. And individuality is you focusing on you. Okay? Not worried about no one else. Focus on you and only you. New beginnings is here, all right? But physical activity means that you need to do the work, put in the work, okay? This is what I'm getting. Let's pull up um chakra card on this. All right, air signs. Let's see why you guys are blocked with discipline. We have workaholic, wow. It has to do with work. See, an abundance is here. So like I said, for some of you guys, it's like you are very abundant. But all you do is work. You work way too much. You just All you do is work, work, work. You never have no time. All right? You guys are needing to release something. Some of you guys can be blocked emotionally. Or something is affecting you or bothering you emotionally. And you just want to be happy and be at peace. And we have despondence. And you may feel like no one is hearing you out, listening to you. There. We have faith. So the universe wants you to have faith. Okay? They want you to have faith and trust that new beginnings are coming in, happening, and a lot of things are changing. Okay? So, I mean, your reading was really good. I see a lot of change coming in. I think it was good. I just feel like, um, stop overworking yourself, air signs. Take a break. Rest. All right, let's pull your spirit message. Messages for... Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So we have number 26. Wow, approved. You are enough. So some of you guys are going to get some type of approval or something is getting approved. Or it's just saying you are enough, guys. So let's see. Number 26, love it.
All right, so it says approved. You are enough. If you are seeking someone to validate your work or effort, here it is. Wow, everything we just talked about. We see you and we love you. Your angels want to send you this message. You are enough. Nothing added would make you any greater. Nothing taken away would make you any less. You are pure, free, forever. It is easy to get worried about what others think, but that's none of your that's none of your business. Please see this as a sign that whatever has been keeping you up at night is going to go perfectly if you let it. All right? So I love that. I love that. That's why we have this breed, take the lead. I love that. I don't know. I may title with that, but I love this. This is good. I love this. I love this. All right, um, air sign. So that is your reading. I will not be doing it extended because I'm just doing a check-in. All righty. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later on this week in the daily readings and um, the love readings. All righty. That is your reading, guys. Love and lights by air signs.